Hello, welcome to one of my first art videos. I'm going to be talking about what I'm doing right here to work on uh, this hawk. Unfortunately, I shot some video and I lost most of it, so I'm not starting from the beginning. But I am actually using uh, some alcohol pens, Prismacolor colored pencils, some Turpanoid, and some um, different types of marker to build the base of this. This is on a brown Canson paper. Um, what I did is I used the alcohol markers, just uh, warm grays to actually lay in the foundation of the hawk. So I started with this. You can see this photo here on the left. That was my reference photo. And so I used the alcohol markers to lay in all the tonal values just simply over the brown paper. Um, what that does is that actually allows for shade and some good coverage without having to use as much colored pencils. So um, at that point, or after I did that, uh, what I went back and did is started just laying some of the base tones of uh, different parts of the hawk, the brown, the, the white feathers in the front. Um, right here I'm actually using the uh, alcohol marker again to lay over the top on paper just to add a value. Um, I found that the alcohol markers can actually blend well with the Prismacolor colored pencils. So um, what you see here kind of sped up is I'm actually shading in some of those subtle green tones and highlights in the back of the picture. Um, the goal there is just to lay some color over without pressing too hard. Um, once I get the color you know where I want it to be you can actually see the pencil strokes I'm not really worried about making that too smooth um, I don't want too much line direction though so I'll do tight tight circles with my shading um, and I'll just pick a few colors here and there I I generally tend to look at my photo and just color match visually um, to cat capture the essence of the colors that I'm trying to replicate. So I, unfortunately on this one, I don't actually have a list of colors that I'm using um, as much as it was me just looking at my computer, picking some colors um, and then shading and blending. So uh, that part, as you can see, has got some texture on it. And then I pull out Turpanoid and a paper blender. And what I love about Turpanoid is you can run it over the colored pencil it doesn't um, interact too much with the alcohol marker, but it, it blends the colored pencil. It breaks down the wax base and actually causes the colored pencil to work uh, like you would uh, a painting material. So you can get a really nice, smooth, soft texture. Um, and then you can go over it as many times as you need to. So it really allows you to build up color fast. Um, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but when you start to blend a lot with colored pencil the wax will build up until eventually you don't have anything else on there so again here i am coming back in over the top now with the alcohol base markers again just to darken in value so anywhere i feel like i wanted to add some value um, and then the nice thing about the alcohol base marker is once again it doesn't overcoat the paper so you still have a lot of tooth in your paper so you can come back in like i am here with the colored pencil colors of your choice and just to bring highlights back in to tweak and touch things up. So really it's a dynamic combination to have the turpanoid to blend, the alcohol marker to blend. Both of those allow you to move color over the paper um, while keeping uh, enough tooth to come back in with the colored pencil for highlights. The other thing is using a colored paper eliminates the, that white that will somehow sometimes peek through um, a good color pencil drawing so um, super fun process I'm hoping to make a few more videos that will show a little more detail I know on this one you didn't see me work on the beak or the eye or any other essential parts so I may have left you with more questions than answers um, but as you're watching this video learning a little bit about uh, mixed media with colored pencil marker and marker and terpenoid I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can visit my website, philipportiz.com, or you can follow me on Facebook, and I do have a YouTube channel as well.